Welcome to Ask the Linwood Cop. I'm your host, Teresa Whipple. Sergeant Cole Langdon, welcome back. Thanks for having me back. You bet. We are going to talk today about school zone cameras. All right. And the question from a reader was, when you're in a school zone and the sign says 20 miles per hour when children are present, does that mean the children are present on the street or inside the building or both? Okay, that's a great question. The school zone statute reads that we can take enforcement action or that the school zone speed limit of 20 miles an hour can be enforced when children are within 300 feet of a crosswalk near the school zone. Uh, so either side, within 300 feet of that crosswalk near the school, enforcement action can be taken and you have to slow down to that 20 miles an hour. On either side of the so, street? Yes, on either side of the street. Now that's within 300 feet. So technically, if the child is even on the playground of the school, they, they could be considered within 300 feet of the crosswalk. Linwood looks at it a little more literally. We will take enforcement action if we see a child on the sidewalk within 300 feet of that crosswalk. It's considered a 20 mile an hour school zone at that okay. point and enforcement action can be taken. It's important to also remember that even if children are not clearly present at that moment, if lights are flashing, advisory lights are flashing, letting you know that it's a 20 mile an hour zone, you have to abide by those as well. So it's, it's kind of a two pronged statute. Whether the lights are flashing or not, if they are flashing, then it is a school zone. And also, if children are present, comes up if it's a weekend. Lights are not flashing, but children happen to be walking to a uh, neighborhood soccer game, something mm -hmm. of that sort, and they are within 300 feet of that crosswalk, and they're at near the school. They are actually, it's a school zone at that point. And oh, the, that's the, good to know. So even if it's not a school day. Hour. Yes, okay, even if not a children. school day. Okay. Summertime, same thing would apply. All right. So it's not just when school's in session. It's when children are present on the sidewalk, or when those lights are flashing. Right, and I think so. people get confused about that lights flashing thing because sometimes it could be early in the morning right. and people are mentally thinking, well, there's no school yet and they right. don't see any children. But I've been told that that can be, there's a special event at the school that's starting Absolutely. early or something like that that the general public may not be aware of. That's correct. And we actually have tried to time our school zone lights, our advisory lights, to let you uh, to the actual schedule of the school. Okay. So if it's an early release day, on the afternoon where they get off early, let's say they get up at noon rather than three o'clock, those lights should be deactivated. But understand you need to respect that and not play that game. You need to look at the lights. If they are flashing, it's enforceable and it, you have to drive at 20 miles an hour. Okay. Same thing with children being present. All right. So it's all about safety. That's right. And I guess the rule of thumb is, is that if you are near a school, no matter what time of the week, it's just best to go slower. Slow down. Yep. No rush. Yep. That's right. Okay. Well, thank right. you very much. Thank we'll you. be back again soon with another episode of Ask the Linwood Cop.